Y'all need to call me Daddy Drown, them bitches. Cause look at this. Ooh. You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me angle it so y'all get a better view of what's going on. Oh yeah. You feel me? Don't be no sad. Fuck that vest, nigga. Ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah. Let them sleep. Yeah. Let them sleep. Yeah. Call it plug. Cut me some bar for the week. Who, who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. Finally, young lass has come back. Nah. <laughs> I ain't back like that. So today's video, man, I'm gonna do a, a washing style. I'm gonna show y'all the wolf. Yeah. They go wifey in the kitchen looking yeah. scrumptious. I know why you so loud. Hey, beauty. Why it's on your mouth? Yeah. I was in here giving you a compliment. What you mean? Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm shoot a video for my family channel today. So if you want to look at that, go ahead and subscribe. The link will be in the description and in the comment section. Um, right now I'm in the bathroom. The bathroom is looking crazy. I haven't cut my hair, even though I can. What I'm doing is the Quarantine Wolf. So this video is going to be called the Quarantine Wolf Challenge. I know it's a lot of people out here who got waves. And right now, ain't none of y'all can go to y'all barbershop. My suggestion to you is if you don't know how to cut your hair, leave your damn hair alone. Okay? Leave your damn hair alone. Because you're going to be out here looking crazy. Me personally... Let me show y'all what this joint looking like. You know what I mean? Woo! It's matted down. The wolf is crazy right now. So, with the quarantine wolf challenge, we want to see who's going to have the best waves after this whole thing is over with. If it's ever over with. And I'm going to show y'all some things that you can do to make your connections better. Throughout the course of this video, you might hear me sniffle or you might see me blow my nose. No, I do not have the coronavirus. I have a very severe case of allergies. Okay? Allergies with symptoms that uh, I'm going to talk about it in my vlog. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, the family channel, go subscribe right now. All right, so the first comb I use is a detangler comb. You feel me? Since my hair is so high, what I want to do is, you know what I'm saying, I want enough pulling force to move my pattern around. And also, if you know, you break forks with your detangler comb. So, I have a lot of forks because I got ripples right now. And you use the comb to break them. Plain and simple. So, you start off with a detangler comb. You see, like right here, I don't really have nothing right here. I don't have, I have, definitely have ripples right here. And in the back, I don't know if y'all can see the back, but I'm kind of spinning in the back. I'm kind of spinning in the back. I'm not going to lie. And of course, my crown is right here. You feel me? So I want to comb it. Move it to the side. The more you comb, the better it chance you have of having less forks. Boom. Boom. So y'all see it? Combing around the crown. Go on there right here. Now, after I use this comb, y'all gonna laugh at me, but <laughs> I use my son's comb. This is a little baby comb. You can buy this from uh what you call it? Um Target or one of them baby stores. They come in a packet usually. And you use this because for me, using this comb is easier to control and um I don't know, I could just angle it off more. You don't have to do this. You, I'm pretty sure it's something else you could use. But this is what I use. Okay. So now once we got that down packed, right? Use this joint right here. Now this is a hard medium brush it's a torino pro um this brush was gifted to me by my boy craig shout out to craig man so you want to start off with this excuse me <clears throat> and the way i usually brush my hair is i try to start off from the back first but 
to be honest with you, I'm damn, my allergies is killing me. But to be honest with you, right? The way you should brush your hair is start off from the front. So I'm gonna start off from the front. Even though I usually start off from the back first, I'm gonna start off from the front. And you wanna just catch the angles. So I have a 540, which means that the waves on the front is gonna come at a slant because this is the right way. Okay, so let me just, just go ahead and brush it this way for a little bit. I'm not gonna do the whole brush session because usually it take about 30, 40 minutes to really get it in. Well, quarantine time. If it wasn't quarantine, probably like 10 minutes. But since we quarantine, you know what I'm saying? I just been getting it in like this. Now, so the reason why I would say you start off like this in your brush session is because I don't know how most people's hair is, but for me, when I brush the top of my joint, like over here, the back kind of moves. It's weird as hell, but when I brush the top, my crown usually get messed up. So, for, if your hair is like that, I would say you should just start at the top. But since I've been doing it for so long, I start right here. You feel me? So, when I get to the back, I do this. I get everything right, and then I go to the front, and then I go back to the back before I do I tie my do-rag on. I just made that sound so difficult, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. But, here we go. We're going to go around for, go around the crown. Catch it right here. Boom. Boom. I'm telling y'all folks right now, bro, when this pattern is finished, psh, when this pattern is finished, bro, y'all might as well call me daddy. You feel me? Just call me daddy because ain't nobody going to be messing with me. Ain't nobody going to be messing with me. I don't care who your favorite waiver is. Ain't none of them folks gonna be seeing me when this pattern is finished. And after it's finished, I'm growing my hair out and that's it. You feel me? I'm that's it. There we go. All right, so after you do that, man, you want to hit it with the softy. This is a soft virtual brush. It's also a Torino Pro. I'm not sponsored by Torino. You feel me? I just actually really like the brushes. You could use other brushes, though, because Torino are, they're kind of up there in price. You feel me? But I feel as though if you're really serious about your waves, you should get you a Torino Pro. All right. So what you do with the softy is you go over... The brushwork you did with the medium heart. You just go over it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I don't know how many of y'all draw, right? But when you draw, you um, you might start off with like, you might sketch with a pencil or something like that. And then you kind of lay everything down with a marker. You feel me? So this is your sketch. You feel me? This is what you use to do all the hard work. All the all the pulling your pattern and doing all that, you use this. And then after you do that, you use a softy. Put everything together. Right? So you use the softy to pull everything together. Now, the crazy thing is, I'm going to have to do all of this again. Because this is a dry brush. This is a dry brush session. I still ain't moisturized my hair, nothing like that. Excuse me. I still ain't moisturized my hair, nothing like that. So you gotta do all of this again. So right now, what you was doing just now, you was just putting in the groundwork so you know exactly, exactly what angles you gonna hit, how you gonna hit your angles when you put your moisturizer in. You know what I'm saying? All right, I closed the crown up right there. So I like how that's looking, okay? So now, 
uh, I don't know what is your preferred moisturizer of choice. For me, it's either the Argan Oil, Olive Oil Lotion, or the Goat Drip. Um, I'm not going to use the butter. I think I'm actually going to use the, the moisturizer. Hold on, bro. She been using my damn moisturizer. Look. Hold on, son. Danaya! Come here, please. Yeah, come here. Come here right quick. Let me ask you a question. Come here. I, I haven't touched that. You ain't touched this? No. You have not been using this? I have not. What am I going to do with that? You ain't been using it for lotion? Or? No. I told you I like the brand from the other company. What other company? The one that you don't like. For his body. Because the way they whip it, it just melts. So where all this go? Hey, come you probably me. subconscious use it. You use it subconsciously. You probably come right here and be like, in your sleep, rubbing it in, thinking about shit, rubbing it on your bed, thinking about your next video, rubbing it on your chest. I don't know. Rubbing on my chest? I'm rubbing on my chest for his Vicks? I don't know. But I know you're going to stop accusing me of shit. Thank you very much. Come back. I'm taking an eye, Come here. Come back. That's crazy, son. Anyway, so this all I got to work with, man. So I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to make it do what it do. So boom. I'm gonna hit the top off first. I'm gonna have to make it do what it do. Y'all see this piece standing up right here? That's the crown. That's cool. You feel me? That's 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 cool. Because once you cut your hair down, you cut that down a little bit, it's going to lay down. The reason why this is sticking up so high is that that part of my hair is actually four, four months longer than the rest of my hair. Meaning that, I don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but every time I cut my hair, I never cut this part. And the reason I did that is because I know that around the area where my crown is going to be, it's thin. <laughs> it's really thin. So I needed a length of hair to kind of fabricate. You feel me? Fabricate what's going on over there. If y'all, I don't know if y'all remember my old wave pattern. That's the problem I was having to completing that pattern fully was because a certain part of my hair, which was over here around the crown area, was thin. So in order to like handle all that, I made sure this part is it's really long, like. I can braid that part alone. <laughs> I'm serious. Like that part of my hair right here, this part right here can get braided. But as you can see, if you look at it this way, it it makes it makes the crown. It definitely makes the crown. So hopefully when I cut it, I don't cut it too low because I need it that high to kind of complete the pattern. So, you know, once I tie my do-rag down, it's going to... What's up, big guy? Daddy. What's yeah. up? You okay? No. I look like I fall for them. I ain't going to hold it. Alright. So, we're going to get some more brushing in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some water in our do-rags. Right? We're going to put some water in our do-rag, and then we're going to throw the do-rag on. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all exactly what the, what the end result of this brush session was. So now what you want to do is you want to take a do-rag, and you want to put some hot water on it.
Alright, All right, so after you put the hot water on there, you want to wring, wring it dry to the best of your ability. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell y'all is, um, I used to do this a lot. And I was when I was cutting my hair, I was using dirty clippers. Okay? So with me using dirty clippers, you know, you get you start getting bumps. And when you start putting the water and you do in the on your do rag and you tie your hair down, the bacteria from the bumps, they like to live in places like that. So that's why I, the bumps on the back of my neck was so bad. So for a period of time I had stopped. So with me doing this, I don't I'm not gonna do it as often as I used to do it because I know how nasty those bumps in the back of my neck used to look. And I don't want that no more. I don't want to deal with that no more. So I would suggest you do this once a week, but make sure when you do it, the do-rag that you have is clean. And two, make sure you never do it after you get a fresh haircut. Because if you do it after you get a fresh haircut, there's a chance that your barber is nasty. You feel me? There's a chance that you, your barber is nasty mother. You know what I'm saying? And and you're going to be out here looking like, like you got something. You don't want to be looking like you got something now. You feel me? Alright, so you tie, you tie your do-rag down. And then just let it sit. Even until the... Probably, yeah, let it sit until the do-rag dry, bro. Let it sit until the do-rag completely dry. And then, you know what I'm saying? You come back, you, you hit your... Your hair with a softy. And you're going to see how your waves are going to look. Your waves are going to look crazy. So as long as this, uh, this what you call it is going on. What what, what they calling this? This um pandemic. I'm going to be wolfing. Who wolfing with me? Are uh, y'all folks ready for this, man? Are y'all ready? You feel me? Y'all need to call me Daddy Drown, them bitches. Because look at this. Ooh. You feel me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me angle it so y'all get a better view of what's going on. Oh, yeah. You feel me? And we still in the ripple stages, man. We still in the ripple stages with it. So give me another couple of weeks. By the time this uh, quarantine is over, this whole pandemic is finished. Oh, yeah, I'm out here. I'm go ahead and throw the Dewey back on. And then uh, I'm going to upload this video. Then work on my vlogging channel. And if we know, we just going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? We just going to turn up. Hit it with the fat strings. You need the fat strings. There you go. Boom. And that's the video. Don't be no sad. Fuck that vest, nigga. Ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Call it plug, cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. 